Okay, so today I am going to be sprouting some seeds for the chickens. Um, I am going to be, all of these are uh, chicken friendly when they are sprouted, okay? So I've got three kinds of sunflower seeds. I've got pumpkin seeds. I've got butternut squash seeds. I got gourds seeds and I've got small red beans, pinto beans and black beans. Now, when it comes to the beans, keep in mind they are toxic if you feed them raw. Don't ever give your chickens raw beans. If I had lentils, I would be doing lentils right now, but I don't. I'll have to get some of those. They're at the Dollar Tree for like a dollar twenty-five. So, but once you cook beans or you sprout the beans, then that process takes away the toxic part in it. And then it is safe for chickens to consume. Remember, no raw beans, only cooked or sprouted beans is safe, okay? They need to be sprouted a minimum of a fourth of an inch. So when it comes to the beans, you wanna make sure that they are over a fourth of an inch sprouting before you give it to them. At that stage, they are no longer toxic, okay? So this is on my agenda today. But first, I have to cut me some screen out to put on top of the jars so that they're easy to drain. And I'll show you the process of a couple of them, but it's all the same process, okay? So I am using, this is a um, splatter like a splatter screen that you can get it at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 or you can order the screens for your lids on Amazon. But I'm going to do it this way because I was already at the Dollar Tree and so I grabbed this up so that I could make these. Be back. Okay, so right now I'm going to have seven different beans and seeds that I'm going to try and I need to cut out the wire from this splatter screen and exactly seven wide mouth fit on it so hopefully I can get it cut just right so that I can use the screens with the rings okay so I'm gonna take this outside and cut it so that I don't have little pieces of screen any place so I'm gonna do this outside. Okay, as you can see, I've got one cut and I can probably get six more cuts out of it. And I'm using the wire cutters to cut it. And if you're wondering how I am cutting it in the circle, I marked them. Okay, so now I've got seven of them made, and I'll see if they fit in the rings. Okay, it fit in the rings. All I did was just place the piece on top and then screw down the ring, and it fits. I'll do that with all of them. So, we'll just take it off so you can see. Just stays on just like that so you just place the screen on here first then put the ring and tighten it down and then it will just stay in there now to the next step okay so for the quart we're going to put two tablespoons for the pints we're going to put one 
tablespoon. We're going to do that with each, each of them. Instead of doing all three different kind of the sunflower seeds, I'm just going to do the sunflower seeds first because that's all the jars and all the screens that I have. So we're going to do that. Remember, this is a trial thing. Now, if, I'm, uh, if I accomplish them um, and work which ones I accomplish, then this is what I'm going to be doing through the winter So to supplement a lot of their greens that they don't have in winter time like they have in the summertime. You know, grass and all of that. So let me go ahead and finish the other ones and I'll be back. Okay, so we've got seven of them here. And uh, the first one is the some black sunflower seeds or sunflower seeds. Um, technically, I don't really know what kind of seeds they were that we planted because we got out three different kind because we planted different packages. I'm just going to call this black because of the color. Then we've got pumpkin seeds. Uh, we have got black beans, red beans, pinto beans, uh, gourds, and butternut squash. And I will add the water into them now. So the water does, the water needs to be like uh, three time, two or three times higher than what the product is in it. So. I will just put like maybe this much water and like the beans would be where is my beans and so much water I'll show you when I get them done okay so I've got the water in each one of them they will soak until tomorrow morning you want them to soak anywhere from 8 to 12 hours and I'm just gonna let these sit overnight and in the morning what i will do is see i've got regular lids on them and when i get ready to rinse these out tomorrow morning i'm going to switch and put these on that i made the screens so that i can rinse them and i'll show you that process tomorrow let me show you the best way to get the screens on the lids properly because if you try to do this just lay the screen on top just like that and just push down as you are turning it it off and it's on just like that Okay, so this is the next morning and this is what it looks like. And now what I will do is change the lids out for the screens. So now I have the screens on each one of them and I will dump that water out into the sink and the screen will keep all of the product inside the jar. We'll show you the process of one, and that's what you're going to do with all of them. So you're just going to dump the water out to where the product is in the jar. <coughs> Remember, I only have one uh, tablespoon in here because I'm uh, experimenting with them to make sure that they're all going to sprout. And then what you're going to do is run water in it around. I put on the bottom of each one of them what they were so you would know these are the gourds and you're going to rinse them a couple of times
Okay. And let me turn the water off. You're going to do this process. Now don't don't put water in it and leave it in it. That was just the first for the very first day that we let it sit overnight. Now what you're going to do for about four days, three to four days, depending on how much you want to sprout it, you are going to rinse it out. The purpose of this is you're making sure that no like mildew, anything like that, uh, is in the jar. Okay? You don't want it to mold. <coughs> so you're rinsing. <coughs> Excuse me. So you're rinsing them out just like that. And then be creative and prop up the jar in a position just like in this position here. They do make, uh, I guess you could get them on Amazon. They're little holders and you just prop the jar up like this. But I'm not spending money on that. I'm just going to put something down to where I can prop it up in this position right here. Okay? And that's what you do for the next three to four days, however you long you want the sprouts. Make sure if you're sprouting beans that you sprout it over a quarter of an inch. Once it hits the quarter of an inch, the beans are no more toxic for the chickens and you can feed it to them. So um, pop it up just like this and just leave it. And then the next morning, do this same process, uh, rinse it out a couple times, and prop it up again. And as you do this, you'll see, start seeing the sprouts will start growing. So this is day two, and I will be back on day three. Okay, so this is the third day, and I'll just use this tray to show you how it's been sitting. And there's no water in it because it's all drained out. So you are going to put it in your sink or whatever if you're outside. You can use your water hose for that much. It's up to you. And you are going to rinse it a couple more times. Fill it up. Rinse it out. Fill it down a little. What you're doing is, uh, Making sure that nothing like uh, mold grows out. Okay. You're going to do this to each one of your jars, and then you are going to pop it back up just like that so that all so that all of the water drains out. So as you can see today, which is the third day, but the second day of rinsing. And if you look real close, you can see they're starting to sprout. They're opening up and sprouting. This is still day three, so from this day forward, you are going to be rinsing these out twice a day. So this morning, five out of six, five out of seven has sprouted. Now, 
they have all sprouted. I'm putting the water in just like that so you can see the sprouts a bit easier. But now you're going to rinse them twice a day. And you just do them all the same way, the same process. You can see the sprouts in there now. So, um, rinse them twice a day. So tomorrow you're just going to repeat the same as today. I'll do the same again in the morning. start doing them twice a day now you want to keep any mold from uh, getting in the jar okay I will finish doing the rest of them Okay, fourth day of rinsing out. I'm just putting water in them like this to show a video so you can see how they're coming along on sprouting. Now, I did notice, too, as you were doing this, <coughs> after you've rinsed them off right before you turn them up, um, this is a fourth day. Take the rings off and wash the ends of the rings here. Take off the inside. Take off the rings and just wash the inside of the rings also. Okay, so I am fixing to rinse these out for the second time today. And I'm just going to turn them over like this. Put water in them. Rinse them out. And put them back. And get this turned on. Okay, go give me a minute. I'll be back. He's hollering for me. Okay, so I'm back. I was gone for like three or four minutes. So we will. Uh, it's kind of swirl it easy. We don't want to lose those sprouts. I'm just dump it out. And we're going to do that to all of them, and then we'll um, I don't even think I need to swirl them. These aren't doing so good. These are the gourds. I just see a couple of sprouts in them. I tried planting these some of them last year in the ground. They didn't do anything, so they just might not be any good. But that's what I'm doing. I'm spearmanning because I don't want to keep something if it ain't going to work. It's a pumpkin. So I'll just not swirl them now because I don't want to lose those sprouts. I 
do have a question if anybody knows about sprouting um, the ones that like on the beans that loses the sprouts before they're a quarter of an inch long what do you do about those do you take those out and not give them to the chickens since they didn't sprout that high or since they were in the water will it be fine anybody know answer that question for me i'm gonna also to try to uh i'll try to um research it and see if i can find out but if you know let me know uh, see those are sprouting good out here in the sun okay i'm gonna put water in them again and then do the same thing and then i'm not gonna swirl them no more i'm just going to um fill it up and then dump them out because i feel like I have the water hose between my knees, trying to get it turned on. Can you just put water in it again, fill them up. Just gonna fill it, because look how they're turning and everything right now anyway. I think that's too hard. Let me turn it down. I gotta put my phone down. work better with his nozzle off but I don't want to take it off and then take a chance of it leaking when I try to turn it back on. Pulling them up. And then when they're all filled I'll just dump the water out again and leave them upside down tilted until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning we follow the same process. I'm just going to leave them out here now. We're not taking them back in uh, and see what the sun does for them. Okay, so now I'm just going to Dump it. Let's rinse it in the second time. Okay, so worm. There. Anyway. Now those are all popped up. That was the second time for today. And tomorrow's another day. Okay, day five. Fixing to rinse them out. I added water so that they would float to the top. You could see them easier. I think at this point I can give them to the chickens or I can let them go a little bit longer. But now these seeds right here were the uh, gourds. Now they They didn't really sprout, and last year when I planted them in the ground, they didn't really grow either, so I think it's just the seeds. I'll probably just end up throwing them out and not worrying about the gourds. I don't think they're good seeds. The butternut squash, now remember, um, once they start sprouting, you can feed them to the, uh, to the chickens. For the exception of beans, the beans have to be sprouted at least a minimum of a quarter of an inch. One inch, half an inch, quarter of an inch. So that's not very much. Okay, so the uh, butternut squash has sprouted. Now I'm not making fodder out of them where they're like four inches or nothing like that. Um, they get more, from what I've researched, they get more nutrition when they sprout, but they don't grow into fodder. So those can be given to them. Now, these here are the red beans. And as you can see, uh, right there, that's longer than a quarter inch. 
you can see down in there that's those are longer than a quarter inch and they're even curled and cute you know cute around uh, see that's a uh, That's a quarter of an inch. That's a quarter of an inch. So those are good to give to them. The holes that float up like this, I just throw them out. I just throw the holes out. So you can see. Well, I was trying to see what you can see right. Quarter of an inch. Uh, where's my camera? I'm looking at my phone and I'm seeing a really dark screen because of the sun. Uh, maybe if I go this way. Okay. And so those are good. Then we have the pinto beans. And as you can see, those have sprouted a quarter of an inch and longer. They're good to go. The uh, black beans. Here we go. Black beans have sprouted a quarter of an inch or longer. Those are good to go. The uh, sunflower seeds, as soon as they sprout, you can give to them. They don't have to be a quarter of an inch. So those are good to go. And these are the pumpkin seeds. As soon as they sprout, you can give to them. And they're good to go. So... Technically, they're all good to go. These here, like I say, the gourds, I'm just going to end up throwing them out, which I can do right now, and just dump them. Because as far as I'm concerned, those are not good seed. They didn't sprout in the ground. They didn't sprout with water. I just throw them out. Okay. And the rest are good to go. Okay, so as you can see how they have sprouted. And then I am gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and add all of the rest of these into them and go feed them to the uh, chickens. And I'm going with it. <laughs> He's going out there with me. And it is freaking hot. It's like 91 degrees. Okay, so let's go feed them to the chickens. Okay, so we are going in to give them to the chickens. I'll let you close that. Give it to them in the shade because it's too freaking hot out here. They'll probably all run first. Okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna scatter it here. Chip, 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 chip. Chip, 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 chip. Chip, 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 chip. Okay, I just kind of scattered them everywhere. We're gonna stand back. Come over here in the shade, honey. <laughs> Come over here in the shade. One eating them. They're like, what's out there? What's out there? It gives them way more nutrition when you sprout them that way. The black one picked one up, and then the other one took it from it. Because it dropped it back down. They're eating it. And the other one's a venture out here, too, and they'll start eating it also. We'll just give it a minute. 
At least standing over there in the sun so he don't scare them away. <laughs> scared of Bigfoot. <laughs> Come on, chick, 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 chick. Come on, chick, 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 chick. Well, we know they like it. They're eating them. The two that's out here is eating them. So when the other ones come out, they'll start eating also. They're way on the other side. Great. Okay, so now you can see all the chickens over there eating the sprouts. One's eating the pellets and the crumbly. One is over there eating grass and, and the rest of them are eating the sprouts now the one little one went to go eat the sprouts so they're all eating very very good oh i gotta get that pan that dish i just left out Let's see if i don't scare them away there they go scaring them away Get into the shade. They definitely like the sprouts. They're eating them. <laughs>